Horsell looking to a repeat performance of race one. Caroli only finishing third with Rattaray in second now. MX2, race two here, Sugo in Japan. Oh, we've got some fallers there. I think Tom Church may have been amongst that group. Up there looks like Caroli this time. Who I, I'm fairly sure Tom Church may have been amongst that group. Well, I can't see him now, but there's certainly four or five of them there. But this is the battle now. Now, is that Tommy Searle or is that Rattray? That looks like Searle. And that is definitely Caroli. There's no doubt about that. No, it's Rattray. Again, it's so difficult to make out these two. Identical bikes, identical gear. They ride almost similar as well. Both the same height and both the same stature. But it is Tyler Rattray who's looking to get into the lead. Caroli just hanging on for all his worth. But where is poor Searle? I think he's down in around fourth place at the moment, but Tyler Ratto has decided to take it to the Italian. That track now getting to be really rough out there. These guys, of course, having to work hard, the suspension working hard, but the 16 bike of Tyler Ratto at the moment has the legs on that Yamaha, that uh, Ducali Yamaha of the Italian, Antonio Caroli, of course, the uh, 19, uh, well, the 2005 champion. What's he's 20-something years of age now? The Sicilian looking to re get, well, not retain the World Championship but get it back after losing it to uh, Porcel last year. Big question is can he do it? But these two locked in mortal combat at the moment. South Africa versus Italy. Well, don't call the mobsters in Tony. We want to keep it clean. On the high side of the bank, that was a wrong move for Rattray. He's had to go wide. He's lost the lead. Tony Caroli's got it back again. It's all about what's going on behind him at the moment because Caroli could get the top step of the podium depending on where Paul Sell finishes because Tommy Sell is in there with him. And I think Tommy Sell has actually gone past him now, so this could put Caroli on the top step. But uh, there is Tony Caroli, race leader. Now, really, he's done all he could do by getting to the front. It's all about what's going on behind him. And I can tell you that Paul Sell has got, I think he's about to go past Tommy Sell, no, he's actually passed Tommy Sell going after Rattray. This is going to be interesting because if Paul Sell can get a bit higher, that will put him on the top step of the podium with Caroli down in second. Rattray will be there, or will it be Tommy Sell? Look into the points tally, it could be this young man, Tommy Sell, that could find himself on the podium again. What a great start for the 18 year old from Pembury down there in the south of England. That's not Pembury in South Wales, incidentally. His dad not making the trip here this weekend after breaking both his feet last year when he fell off a roof. And if he's watching this, get yeah, well soon, my friend. But there is Christophe Porcel. And, uh, well, no sign of the checkered flag as yet. 